Prepare to die, you minx. Now then, how shall I dish out your punishment? Get away from my Diaocha! <laughs> What's this? A traitor barking orders? Such impudence! So this is the might of Master Lupu. Hmm. Just an insect being an insect. Wait. I will definitely have my revenge! So, how does it feel? I imagine you regret taking a young woman lightly, do you not? From here on out, you'll be listening to what I say. And happily doing whatever I bid. Any that oppose will simply be beaten into submission. <laughs> huh? Looks like nobody's here. It doesn't matter. At least I've got the castle back. I can always just go out and hunt for more underlings. After all, that's the funnest part, isn't it? Right, Grandfather? Tonight's banquet was marvelous. Though I would expect nothing less from the noble Lord Yuan Shu, it was a feast enjoyed by both parent and child alike. From this land, we will surely rise up once more. And to that end, I will do my best to provide what little help I can mm. offer. For that, I am grateful. Say, child, tonight's fruit was delicious, wasn't it? I had it specially ordered just for tonight. You should feel privileged to have been able to eat it. I am. It was delectable. Thank you very much. Well, why, those are... You... You didn't eat the oranges that I provided you. I, I, I am terribly sorry. They just look so delicious that... I wished my mother could try them. <laughs> your, your mother, you say? Yes. I thought I could offer them as thanks, if only a little, to repay her for selflessly raising me. <clears throat> Regardless of the reason, you have disgraced Lord Yuan Shu with your rudeness. This shall not be forgiven. Leave him be. It is simply a child thinking of their parent. In fact, such filial piety should be praised. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Hmm. <coughs> Somebody bring me some honey water. <coughs> no. No one will heed the call of even I, the Emperor of Zhong. What a disgrace. <coughs> I mean, is that too much to ask? It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh. Sun Tzu, why are you here? Have you come to just laugh at me? A pitaki even for you. Hey now, the tacky one is you. Mm. Though, I suppose that's not something you should say to someone who is sick. Sick. What are you doing? This was given to me the other day 
by a young man. He told me to make sure I gave it to you. This is... <laughs> Here, let me peel it for you. I can do it myself. This is delicious, perhaps even more so than honey water. for the legendary strength I've heard so much about. Hmm. Looks like there's finally somebody worth my time. Is that all you've got to say? Let's finish this here and now! What the? Hmm. What was that? It's like you've become a completely different person. Oh, hey now, you were just going easy on me, weren't you? I'll admit, it's impressive you were able to evade my attack. However, not being able to measure your opponent's strength, I guess you were just another insect after all. Ooh. Why you? I'm gonna kill you! Uh, yeah! Hey, don't buy! What do you think you're doing? This is no time for your pesky interferences. Be gone! Hua Xiong, have you forgotten about my grandfather? Sheesh. Just how stupid are you? A gift for my grandfather has arrived. Be grateful and make sure everyone drinks their share. It seems there are some impudent fools that want to defeat me. Well, it just happens I've come to pay them a little visit. Ugh. Let's go! Ugh. Hey you! Wait right there! Huh? Who do you think you are scorning grandfather's attention? You insolent man. Hmm, nice one. I'm saving it for later. Just watch me. I'll be back before the wine cools. Let's go! Ah. Uh. <laughs> Is it? Well then. Not coming back, are you? Hey, this doesn't concern you. Fall back! No, I will not. He is my enemy. I'm sure you know what defending him means. I do not wish to become your enemy. But nonetheless, I will not fall back. <sighs> I guess time is up. Let's call it a draw. <sighs> You've got some grit, after all. Truth be told, I underestimated you. Uh, I nearly lost it there, the thought of you being killed. <laughs> uh, hey now, don't cry. Uh, are you really okay with this? We won't be able to return to Shu Chan. Yes. I just want to be with you, Lord Zhang Fei. You, you must jest. 
You are a strange one, aren't you? Though, I am starting to like you. <laughs> oh, Lord Zhang Fei, about Uncle Yuan. Ah, uh, it's all right. Brother gave us permission to bury him properly. We'll have to keep it under wraps, however. G glad to hear it. Yet, I should apologize for being so selfish. Ah, it's fine. I'm well aware of how he took care of you when you were a child. Besides, you've never been one to take no for an answer, isn't that right? Th that's not true. Hey, let's have a smile. Huh? Knowing him, he'd rather have us celebrate his life rather than mourn his death, don't you think? <laughs> Lord Zhang Fei, it sounds like you were Uncle Yuan's friend. <laughs> you sort of get attached to people you've been fighting against, whether you like it or not. Besides, you kind of resemble him, too. Wait, what am I saying? Perish the thought! <laughs> <laughs> You're kind of cute, Lord Zhang Fei. Whoa, what are you saying? Anyway, we must be off. <laughs> Let's go.